kill him. Sweet home, baby. Oh, well, it looks like we're in a little Mississippi. Oh, buddy, buddy. How you doing, peeps? Came out of the oven an hour and a half ago. Yeah, we're having to drive friendly to Texas, well. Got some Japanese furries. But, uh, I guess I'll have to wait till next time. It was super foggy this morning. I said my done run off the overpass. Oh my goodness, goats like cats too. Shut up! to get an autumn time to film the rocks. I'm on a new tripod mount, not a tripod, I'm on a new window mount that uh, has zero mobility. Like I can't, or movability, that's the one. Yeah, you know, my old one, my other tripod, I can like, it can swivel and do all sorts of stuff and loose and, well that one broke. So I had to get this one on the fly. And plus this one has housing the GoPro and not uh, the Sony. So, we are on our way to Tejas for Christmas vacation. Not really, but kind of. It's pre-Christmas vacation, kind of, to see my mom. I don't know, so I say kind of because I don't know how much vacation it's going to be because going to Dallas, Texas in winter and exactly, you know, tidings and joy. But nonetheless, here we are, here we be, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Probably not much. First stop, Funky Monkey. Funky Monkey. Downtown Adelante. What little you can see of it. There might be lighted camera instigation. Apologize. Oh really? Fucking speed limit 60 and 82 isn't fast enough for you fucks? One. Two, three. I had to fuck with him a little bit because he got a little close to my ass. Oh, let's race. Come on, let's race. Come on, let's race. Oh, you didn't want to race. Oh, okay. I apologize. I guess you can hang in that lane. Get behind me again now. Fucking good. They didn't want to race. They liked riding my ass. They didn't like racing. Weird. I literally have a GoPro mount that I paid $40 for, a GoPro windshield mount, that literally won't fucking stay stuck to the windshield holding my GoPro. Meanwhile, we got this jackass that's almost running people off the road. This jackass that didn't want to, that it's probably his fault, the whole situation. And I got jackasses behind me that don't have a clue how to drive. It's an entire shit show, basically. Okay, so I got it back stuck to the window. I licked the shit out of it this time. Maybe it'll stay. The view's way worse, but it's the best I can do on quick notice. So you're crooked, a little bit cattywampus, your alarm's going off, and uh, everybody's moron. Jackson Town. It's pretty apropos because we're literally going to Jackson for the Funky Monkey. the sign. Sweet home baby. Apologize. Talap Talapusa River Watershed. Yeah, we passed Talapusa, Georgia about 10 miles back. Now we're now we in Bama Lama. Whoa, Black Betty. Bama Lamb. Hey, Black Betty. Bama Lamb. Black Betty had a child. Bama Lamb. Damn thing on wild. Bama Lamb. Oh, Black Betty. Bama Lamb. Oh, Black Betty. Bama Lamb. That's all I know. I'm sorry. Just passing the Coosa River. You can even sight it. Looks wide enough to be a lake. Can't even see nothing from this side. Not a lot to see. It's got dead trees. And that Wetterman Keith billboard. It's pretty awesome. See the back of the truck. It's KLLM Transport Services. 
that's kill them KLLM kill them transport services kill them here kill them we kill them transport <laughs> these are the titty mountains mountain tatas are what they're known as got a left and right one and then a third third one in the middle apparently that we're coming up on I don't know if the camera caught all that, if I turn it on soon enough. But yeah, we must be getting to some mountainous region, even though we're going west and not north. But I guess Bama, Bama must be a bit mountainous. A little bit mountainous, probably. Apologies. Yeah, this makes me want to go back to California and Colorado or something. I love the mountains. I mean, these are even if either of these are small little mountains, they're still pretty awesome. It's not like the Rockies or even the even the uh, God dang it, what are they called in San Diego? Wow, complete brain fart. San, not the, not the Santa Anas. Uh, oh my goodness! Hey Google. Yes, okay. Okay, Google. What's the mountain range in outside of San Diego called? The Laguna Mountains, no. according to some information I found on the website en.wikipedia.org. That is incorrect information. Hey Google, what's the name of the mountain range in Southern California? Mountain ranges frequently mentioned on the web include the Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada Hills, the Panamint Range, That's and others. Are. Sierra Nevadas, the Sierra Nevada Mountains. Some kind of big old how you doing there? Some, some kind of biggest, some kind of biggest humongous there. And it's going out of view. If you even ever saw it on the tiny little GoPro, do you need to stop for potties or are we good? I'm good. Okay. Right. Keep it on going. That was an Acme Brick Company. That's what that big something was. Acme Brick. That's pretty cool. Straight out of Looney Tunes, apparently. Just turn on the camera here in case we have a wreck because this stupid Camaro in front of us cannot manage to maintain a lane to save his life. He passed me in the fast lane and proceeded to get in the middle lane afterwards, but he's been switching back and forth right and left. He's clearly looking at his phone or something. Look at him. Cannot maintain his lane to save his life. And we got dipshit idiot fuckface on the right trying to pass us when we're already doing 80 and the speed limit's like 70. What's up dipshit? Where did you think you were going to go? Yeah, not in front of me. Oh, really? I guess you can get in front of me now. I don't understand. My main thing is I don't understand what people don't how they don't know what cruise control is. Like it's pretty old I technology. Don't either. They're just like, like pretty... I love my cruise control. The only time I take it off is when a bunch of fucking idiots well, just keep sitting beside me. Yeah. And I gotta get the fuck away from them. Yeah, that's when you're supposed to have it off. And like yeah. in town and stuff. But yeah, when you're just cruising on the freeway, like I've had ours at 75 for the last several, several miles, and people just keep on like I don't know why this guy took the inside lane. Like that's not the fast lane. That's not the unless you're exiting. I guess he's exiting, okay. But yeah, like to just people that are just weaving in and out of traffic, like they can't read the road and don't know how to like set their cruise control or maintain a constant speed. Like even if you don't have cruise control, if you can't maintain a constant speed by utilizing your foot, then you're a pretty shitty driver. In two miles, take exit 136 toward I-459 South. And all these idiots that you run up on your ass before they switch lanes. I swear, if I had the technology and the knowledge, I'd totally hook up oil slicks and stuff. <laughs> little buttons. You get within 10 yards of my vehicle, I'm activating the oil, oil slick. Even if you don't spin out, you're going to dunk up your car with nastiness. Okay, our exit's coming up at 1.6 miles, boys and girls. The freaking slush puppy van in front of us, the icy, the icy bear, kind of like slush puppy, but not quite. Oh my goodness. How you doing, icy van? You freaking best. Give me a drink! I never learned my alphabet from A to Z. We got a little red all the red archie bridge here <laughs> we're going to the red arch bridge it's pretty awesome and now it's over we're now crossing the tom biggie river b-i-g-e-e -E, the tom biggie river not that you can see any of it but uh it's documented 
I apologize. Two hours to the Funky Monkey. 141 miles. Getting closer. Oh, well, looks like we're in a little Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P P P P P P I M I S S I S S I P P P P P P P I M I S S I S S I P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P I got to be. Only 87 miles to our destination, and we'll officially be halfway to Azel, halfway to Azel, Texas, just outside of Dallas. Okay, here we are at the Funky Monkey Cottage. That's our Sonata with California plates that we rented. And uh, here we are. Some cool little wood slabs in front. Nice little sidewalk entry area. She's definitely, she's definitely a bit old and run down, but much like many of the houses I've rented. No muss, no fuss. And here we are in the Funky Monkey. I apologize for any poor lighting. It doesn't appear that there is, oh, there, actually there's some recessed lighting. But I don't know how to turn those on. So, uh, definitely monkey themed. This kind of looks like the hat from Wizard of Oz, the monkey head wore or something, I don't know. Dancing stuff, little couch, hadn't even sat in it, probably not comfortable. Little chair, painted turquoise fridge, small kitchen area, tiny stove. We're only staying here one day. America, the board game. Or a puzzle. I don't know what that is. Never even heard of it. Jacksonopoly. That's Monopoly, but I guess for Jackson, Mississippi. Password. I had that back in the day. I forgot that even existed. Got a little Christmas tree up. Here's the little bedroom. She was definitely, uh, she definitely feels, uh, a bit wet and moist when I first came in, but I think it's just because it's at one of those old houses. And uh, get the heat on and stuff flowing through, and she feels better. But yeah, just a tiny little funky monkey college. I hadn't slept on the bed, but I sat on it. It feels fairly comfortable. Got a little washer and dryer unit. Got some peeps hanging out. How you doing, peeps? Uh, February 16, 1999, Mardi Gras. It's all about the beads, New Orleans. A little bathroom. With a little tub area. And a super dusty, super, super dusty bathroom fan. This is where we're supposed to be staying on the way back. We have enough time to cancel it. I think we need to have enough time to cancel it. We'll see how we sleep tonight, this side tomorrow. But yeah, got the little funky monkey glass table. Very neat, little alligator, little alligator CD rack or something. Some nice little art, got some flamingos. But yeah, not too bad. The ceiling is a little bit funky. A little bit funky in some areas. But not too bad, that's your Funky Monkey Cottage Tour. I am so pissed off. We ordered Domino's hot wings at like 4.20. It's six o'clock right now. And the last update we got from the app is at 4.34 when they were quality checking. So it's literally been an hour and a half since then. Since they were quality checking the order, which means it came out of the oven an hour and a half ago. So when it gets here, I'm probably gonna take it, but then I'm gonna get all my money refunded and I'm about to order some burgers, some burgers from through, uh, I'm too inebriated. About to order some burgers through DoorDash. This is some absolute garbage. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people. I'm positive they're not paying people living wages, which is why they can't get any employees, which is why orders are taking two to three hours to fulfill. Garbage. Garbage. Pay your employees, fuck faces.
So uh, here we are, leaving Jackson, Mississippi, on our way to and then on to Texas. And uh, that's all I have to report thus far. Here we are, going across the Mississippi. I don't know what's up with this silly GoPro, but it would not load in time. And uh, the wife's filming on the camera so she can get some good, not panoramics, but some good right to left. But, uh, uh, we're officially in Louisiana. Welcome to Louisiana. Big old bridge, big old river. Yeah, we did. almost be Texas it's so flat this is five minutes since I had the camera off so we just we just entered in Louisiana but uh yeah this is super this, this could be this could almost be Texas if you didn't know any better you might think you were in Texas or North Texas anyway I'm trying to get this giant cross to our left and I don't think I got it at all. This stupid GoPro is all dicked. It's a massive cross. I've seen bigger in Texas though. Going through Monroe, Louisiana. Not a whole lot to write home about. But nonetheless, here we are. Stop at All Subs Convenience Store in Texas, United States. You about have T Tar. Oh. We are about a little over two hours from Dallas. So we're getting pretty close. A little Texas uh, picnic area. And then turn the picnic tables into freaking oil derricks. I don't remember oil derricks being here the last time we passed, but. Seeing the amount of rust on them, they probably were. Uh, they probably were here. Slow down. You're already in Texas. Slow 
Slow down, you're already in Texas. In the streaks of Texas traffic fatalities. Yeah, we're having to drive friendly to Texas well. Thought that was an amp pile, but apparently not. I probably need about three of those. Yeah. At least one. But I definitely don't need one. Oh, it's dirty. Yeah. I don't want that one. I want a clean one. Never mind. It's not working. Man, that's a big son of a bitch. It's huge. All right. Pretty soon we'll be getting to Dallas proper here. Okay, here's our little Airbnb. Little walk-up deck. And uh, entry hall here. Come this way. And uh, got a little guest bathroom. Not too shabby. Guest bedroom. Closet through that door. So living room. There couch and our oversized chair, three bar stools with the kitchen, coming here, we got the lounge room with the bar and the pool table and the TV and the dartboard and uh, a couple more closets, very cool wood beamage, very cool wood beamage, washer and dryer running a load, small nice kitchen, Back patio, back patio balcony with the barbecue. Master bedroom. Big old bed. Super cool bathtub. Super cool shower. Super cool me with extra fat pack because you love that kind. And that's it. That's our big tour. Five acres in the country, all kinds of chicky chickies. Got some Japanese furries, looks like. All sorts of other good stuff. And uh, oh my goodness, we can walk the five acres. Probably can't play on the trampoline, but yeah, we're well, welcome to explore the five acres and see chickens and see all sorts of neat stuff. And these chickens are very, very cool. Very neat chickens everywhere. Friendly chickens. <laughs> Thank you.
Apparently I forgot my my little cords for my drums, so I won't be getting any drums. I really want to get a shot of the Dallas skyline, but uh, I guess I'll have to wait till next time. It's the first day it hadn't been windy. Well, I don't know. Maybe it probably wasn't windy the first day I got here. I'm not really sure, but early in the morning, it's not windy right now. And I was totally going to get a sick drone shot, but yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, here we are. All right, we're running Texas back roads because I ain't getting on no goddamn Dallas freeways. <laughs> Holy dicks, man. That was horrendous. It was worse than LA, man. Like, because at least LA, like, the roads are really wide and, like, they've been. You know, LA's always been a freaking jimongous town, right? So they've been working on the highway systems forever. And quite frankly, California has better regulation. Yeah, I used to think Texas were the best roads in the nation until I started traveling the nation. And shit, man, for the vast majority of California, they dwarf every single other state as far as quality of road roadmanship go. And like Louisiana, Mississippi, like those are the worst, right, in my experience. So yeah, so we're avoiding freeways. When we go home, we're going to put an extra hour onto the trip just to avoid go around the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex because screw that. Oh man, these old farm roads are something else, aren't they? Go through the Texas backcountry. I'm watching the news this morning. Local Dallas news before the national news comes on. And I'd be dang if a freaking it was super foggy this morning. I semi done run off the overpass and landed in the parking lot below. And they were showing the footage of it. Well not the footage of the accident, but the aftermath. And uh the tractor trailer was strapped up with tie, ratchet tie downs like to keep it holding together while they towed it away and they panned to the front where the cab should be there was no cab there was a chassis that the cab should be on but there was no the cab was completely disintegrated apparently the dude's still alive but i can't imagine he's going to be alive for long this uh so yeah kind of crazy but yeah so we're going to avoid that whole shit show but uh we'll see how that goes Lots of Texas pride though, huh? You see Texas flags everywhere, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. Man, how you doing Texas? As far as the eye can see, basically. I mean, you know, we're not in Northwest Texas. Oh, look at all the houses popping up there. Whole damn subdivision. Son of a dick. Yeah, this town has really uh, exploded since I was here nine years ago, eight years ago, 10 years ago, whatever it was. Taco time! Taco Time Mexican Grill at the at the at the South Quick Stop. That's where I like to get my Mexican food. It's the convenience store. I mean, honest to God, it's probably pretty good in Texas. <sighs> Definitely got to hit In and Out while we're here. Definitely got to probably hit Jack in the Box only because when am I going to get a chance to do that again? Also, it's not like it's the best food, but if we're looking for a quick how you doing, going to hit up all Sips convenience stores, get some of those delicious chimichangas, those deep fried chimichangas that I used to eat as a kid. Probably not as delicious anymore in my adult palate, but we we shall see. And, uh, this dipshit in front of me day. pulling this trailer has not one single solitary brake light. Not a fucking one. Not a blinker, not a brake light, not a goddamn thing except stupidity and idiocy. How you doing? In 800 feet, turn right onto Bonfield Street. Take the second right onto Bonfield Street, then turn right. So here we are, so here we are at our Airbnb in Azle, Texas, and I turned this light earlier and we just came in from sitting on the balcony and I just realized that, oh my God, it's a miniature version of the lamp from a Christmas story. The leg lamp that the father had to have, the super tacky leg lamp. This makes me like these people that much more. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that him? Right. Hi, goat! What? Well, there's chicken feed. I don't think there's goat feed. Hi, buddy! You are just cute as can be! Hi! Hi, buddy! You like... Oh my goodness, goats like cats too. Are you looking for some groceries? Are you looking for some groceries? 
Oh! Oh my goodness! You are a very pretty goat! Yes! You're pretty! Do all goats have horns? No. That, look, just look at that one. Yeah, I know they all come up here and saw me while I go. Went away. Hi, Ghost. Ah! Hi. Hi. We'll be back. Get back, y'all. I'm kind of scared. Why? Because their eyes are really weird. Oh, you lick me? Are you trying to eat some yeah, groceries? I'm hungry. I don't know what goats eat, buddy. They eat everything. Well, I know that, but I don't, I don't know what they actually are supposed to eat. <laughs> Continue Straight onto Eagle Mountain Dam Road, Western Center Boulevard. I'm gonna continue straight on that damn road. Damn right I will. Um, I mean, although it doesn't really appear to be straight so much. There's a whole bunch of S curves, which I love. I like them. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Texas 199 Frontage Road. Okay, I'm trying to make a video. Can you hush it up? So, uh, two more days. Today, tomorrow, and then we leave. Take the next right onto Texas 199 Frontage Road. Can you shut up, lady? Jesus. I can meet her. Um, yeah, so today, tomorrow, we leave early the next morning. Or, well, we leave whatever time we want the next morning, but checkout's like 11. Continue um, on Texas 199 Frontage Road for half a mile. And uh, so it's, it's it, what is today? Third, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We left on Sunday. It's the In first a day. Mile, use the left Shut up! Sorry, apologize. Freaking out a little bit there. Um, yeah, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days. It's the first day that my back has not been, that I haven't been really miserable with my back pain. And I was actually able to exercise this morning, which is awesome because I haven't been able to exercise in almost two weeks since I threw it out. And uh, yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, it's official. It's dark and gloomy and we're leaving Texas. And uh, we're going the back way. Well, not the back way. We're going to go around. We're going to add an extra hour and 20 minutes to the trip uh, by avoiding freeways and getting to the other side of Dallas, Fort Worth Metroplex, on the outskirts on Texas uh, Texas highways, not interstates. Take longer. It'll be slower. May or may 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 or may not be more scenic, but yeah, it'll definitely be more peaceful and relaxing. So we're gonna do that, and uh, that's what's going on. Well, I tried to get the camera on to show you the Dallas skyline, but these stupid GoPro, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these GoPros, man. They don't operate in a vehicle worth a good goddamn. Have them on a motorcycle helmet for hours and we're bumpy training, they operate fine. Put it in a car, plug it in on a windshield, and hit the power, and nothing wants to happen. But yeah. Maybe we'll catch it around the next corner. Well, I wanted to show them that blue engine, but GoPro's too slow and we're too fast, so never mind. It's out of sight. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the great state of Louisiana. When I say great, I mean not so great. But nonetheless, here we are, and here we go, and here we're going. We've done doing about 100 miles an hour up to this point, uh, 100 miles per hour up to this point, rather, and uh, just knocked off half the trip like Sheboygan's Boygans because we were just fucking rolling, son. But now we're just going to take her easy. We're going to go at 80 and see if we can't not get a ticket for the rest of the way. And we were with a whole line of traffic. We were just in and out, swooping around and just flying through the state of Texas. Just get out just as quick as we possibly could. And uh, we did. And, uh, and that's your update update. Okay, next stop. Sippy ship! There's your Mustang. There's your 65 Mustang. What a gang. There's your wrecked Hyundai. What a gang. It's got this massive cross coming up here outside of Brayville in Archibald, Louisiana. There it is. Just a random cross. Okay, we'll be going into Mississippi pretty quick here.
Old D, fuck it. Just leave the fucking plastic hanging out the door. Yeah. Okay, Dean, good job. There she is. The big bridge. King Ranch, fucking punch it. Welcome to Mississippi. Thank you. And here we are, Sippy Sippy Sa Sa Sa. Hey, once again, here we are at the Funky Monkey. I'm not sure uh, how well I was able to get it last time because I couldn't figure out how to turn the overhead lights on because it's this crazy little dimmer switch on the side, right? But those are mine. That didn't come with Funky Monkey. And, uh, but all this stuff did. Got the old school phone. This is, uh, most of these books, or some of these books, I'm presuming all the sports books are actually directly representative, not directly representative, well, yes, directly representative, but because since he's the author, but yeah, uh, the gentleman, the husband of the, uh, the co-host is, uh, is a sports writer, and he's been a sports journalist for like 30 years, so it's a lot of his books are in here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what all we showed. I know I didn't. Uh, I know I didn't see a pampered monkey last time, but there it is. I think she does most of these herself. And uh, yeah, I got the little swan and the. Oh, see there he is, Rick Cleveland. How you doing, buddy? Co-host of the Funk Monk, and I'm I'm positive this is her. Except I'm not positive. But it seems like it could be. I'm pretty sure I showed y'all the lighted flamingo last time. How you doing? And I'm pretty sure this must be her. Her her work, but I'm not 100% sure. And we just got freaking monkeys everywhere. There's a monkey. There's a monkey. There's a, a ball monkey. There's a New Orleans purse. There's a monkey. There's a monkey. There's a guitar. BB King guitar. Not a monkey. There's a bird. Don't know how to turn this light on. Maybe here. Oh, look at that. More art. Cool monkey mirror. Not really. Oh, mohawk monkey. Never even saw it that kind with a little bit of... How you doing? Oh, and a... Yeah, you did. Yeah, you freaking did. So yeah, this is a very cool little neat little... Very cool little neat little place. Monkey on the wall, dancing non-monkey, Mississippi Crafts picture. I know I did all this last time, but in case it's a bad video, since I haven't looked at it, we're doing more. Some bad kitty cats. Meow. Very cool shelf with a little plumbing apparatus. How you doing? Old Ritz, Ritz can. And remember when you got your crackers in that? And look, a monkey shoulder, a bottle of monkey shoulder. Brass monkey, that funky monkey. Brass, monkey, junkie, that funky monkey. A little guest book. This is where the fun stuff happens. Yeah, it is. More flamingos. How you doing? Tray of monkey sauce. This is for your, for your monkey juice. If you're making some monkey juice, you can do that there. It's delicious. Delicious monkey juice. And that's President, banana President, juice. President Monkey. She says it's banana delight juice, but, but she's been, she's been drinking too much monkey, so don't listen to her. And then of course, the uh, is that the is that the Wizard of Oz monkey? What what monkey is that? Isn't there a monkey in the Wizard of Oz? There is, but I don't know. Yeah, those are the evil monkeys. I think that, that eat your eat your face off. And those are flying. Those are definitely the flying monkeys. No, they're not. But I can't believe she doesn't have a flying monkey. Yeah, they have wings on them. This one does. No, no, she needs a flying monkey. And then a cool orange, 
cool orange uh, vintage bar stools. Uh, very, very neat, like from a soda shop or something. And I love this raw wood counter. I'm digging it hardcore. I don't even think I really noticed it last time. But me likey. And these glasses, not that it's super special, but these glasses are incredibly heavy and I like the design and I'd love to get some like it. But I'm not allowed to use glasses because I'm too clumsy and I break them. Oh, I look a little gremlin monkey or something. You like, you like, king? You like, king? And uh, very cool kind of vintage slapboard ceiling or something. And that's your tour, tour. Uh, here we are at six in the morning in Jackson, Mississippi. About to head out. Get on the road again. Take it on down to the house.